All right, folks, today I'm trying a couple new spots. I got three places I'm gonna go that I've never been before. It's a river I always fish, just different access points. There's about 15 access points on this river and I'm just trying ones that I haven't hit yet. Uh, got a little dingy from the rain we had last night, so the water's a little murky. Maybe that'll cause the fish to not to be spooked so easy. I'm gonna do some vertical jigging on these pillars for crappie. And then try to catch some bowfin with worms or whatever hits it. Got it. <laughs> Not bad, big bluegill. Decent size. Hand size. All right, folks, I got my first fish of the day. It's a hand-sized bluegill. Caught him on a Kalen's. Pink and chartreuse two inch grub with a one sixteenth ounce chartreuse and black jig head on eight pound line. Right below a gutter that comes in spitting off clear water into the muddy water. Not a bad little guy. Fairly decent. Almost edible, but not quite. And I got my second one. All right, this is a long ear. Four dollar sunfish one, it's a long ear, I think. Ouch, not too bad of a guy. Pretty little fella. Caught him on the same thing, doing the same method. Finesse jigging. All right, we're gonna put him back. It was big though. Right here. Got it. Oh yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Bad. Not bad. Large mouth. Real large mouth, not a spotted mouth. About 14 inches, Thir 13. All right, folks, got me a large mouth out of here. I'm glad I decided to keep the lure on a little longer. He's not huge by any means, but it was a surprise because I was getting sunfish. So, it's kind of a nice surprise there. Real plain color, because I guess the dingy water, no black stripe on him at all. Just plain colored, real bland. Not a bad guy though. I about 
set my drag there because I thought it might have been a bow pin for a second. Not bad. Alright, I got my second bluegill, folks. And he's a big one here. Not bad for a small stream. Nothing compared to the lake ones I'm used to getting, but for a river, this is fairly decent size. Another bluegill. Oh, man. Oh, he's got a headache. Fell right on the gutter. thing where he slid my damn worm all the way up my line. Why do they do that? It drives me nuts. Almost to the point where I can't even use it again. Look. Another. Alright, this one's a dollar sunfish. Real short and pudgy. Little fat guy. Real tiny. And I got to use my worm three times. That's a miracle. Let's see what I can. The sweet is he fought harder than the bluegill did. Well, that's a nice one there. The regular bluegill again. He's a decent sized one. I've caught one red ear out of this river and I've never been able to get another one. It just must have been a weird coincidence. Another bluegill. All right, and I got my worm back. Let's see if I can get four fish from the same worm. If I can get one more. That was the third fish. For two, didn't even have the camera on and I first caught my first crappie. He's about a seven incher, it's a white. Boy, this is a nice hole. We got a, a waterfall down here with a shelf that you can walk right on the side with a big tree below and a big deep hole above it. Big old, look at that, first cast, honey. Crappie. <laughs> There's crappie in here. I figured there was. All right. The pink kaolin's paid off once again. Got me a little nice white crappie adding to the variety for today. All right. It is July, the middle of July. But today we had a little cold front come in or last night. So today's high was only in the mid 80s. So I figured what the heck. There's a lot of, look at that tree down there. If I caught that crappie right here, I'll be able to get 20 of them down there. I caught him right on the other side of the stick, right here. Come on, give me another crappie. Oh yeah, got one. Crappie, nice one. Yes. He swallowed that thing too, look at that. Holy moly. I'm gonna have to Get the, man, I can barely get that out with the pliers, I think. Man, I don't know. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm gonna have, oh, he's, it's way down there. All right, folks, I just got my second crappie. I've been only here three minutes. Oh man, I'm telling you, you gotta be careful. We'll scare the fish here real easy. And uh, he swallowed the hook. I'm gonna have to get pliers to get him out. It's another white, same size, seven inches. They're just barely not keepers. And he is bleeding like crazy. He's lucky if he even lives. Yep, he ain't gonna live. Hey, we just found a new crappie hole. 
It's too bad they ain't all 13s and 14s, but it's still fun. Nah, I ain't got nothing to keep it in. I know, but we ain't got nothing to keep it in. I don't even got a bucket or a stringer. Eh. I wouldn't eat anything out of here. All right, we got it back. I let him go. It's not a bad guy. They're not huge by any means, but this is a tiny creek, so it's kind of a nice surprise. Crappie? Oh yeah. That's a black crappie. Mine were both white. Yours is black. Alright folks, she just got her landed her first crappie. Hers is the black. Hold it up and I'll zoom in. Hold on. I'll just zoom in. Mine were both white crappie. She got a black. Alright, good job, hon. Not bad for middle of July in a small creek. All right. Yeah, you're fine. <clears throat> Another crappie? Man. You got a white this time. Mm-hmm. White have the vertical bars. Black just got spots. All right, let me come check him out. That's four crappie between the two of us. We've gotten two each. I got two whites and she got one black and one white. Oh yeah, it's a nice one. Are you getting them in the shade? Got one. <laughs> That's a nice one, yeah. All right, folks, we're getting into him now. He's about a, he's a keeper, he's an eight. Well, the one day I should have brought the bucket, huh? God, should have brought the bucket, man. I never expected to catch crappie in the heat of the day in the summer. My God. And it's a poor day according to the almanac. But we went anyway. Wow, all right. It's not bad for a small Ozark stream like this. Eight inch black crappie, all right. We are on them, boys. At this rate, we're gonna get 20 or 30 by dark. We've caught five in five minutes. <laughs> yeah, he's better. I know exactly where they're hiding. They're, they're on the right side of that tree but I don't want it to go f too far down. I'm afraid that I'll get hung up on a branch. And they're in that shade, just on the edge of the shade line, right where the shade meets the sun. They're right just in it, just about two or three foot into the shade. The left side of these rapids, and it's a huge tree, almost too much cover for this crappie. But I should be able to pull something out of here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, I got a nice one. Nice bass. Large mouth. Actually, this is a spotted bass. Spotted bass. Got a, about an 11 inch spotted bass. First cast right here, I had that feeling. Not a bad guy, a little above average, I guess. Well, he's deciding to go up a river, I guess. <laughs> he's gonna have some trouble here. He's gonna have to do the salmon jump. And I didn't even cast that, I just lobbed it out there. Got 
Have hey, your drag set right. You probably didn't. Nice one. All right. Yeah, there we go. Yep. Crappie number five, folks. Another white. Same size. They're all the same except that one was one inch bigger. They're all seven. Both in. Alright, another white crappie, seven inches from the same branch over there. That's number five. They quit for about half an hour and I walked away and came back. Might be able to get one or two more now. Too bad they ain't 14s, but 